So you're teaching to tech approach, but only three words, only three words. Uh, I, that's a bit hard, but I would say, I mean, simple tech tools. I mean, that's really, you know, uh, that's really what I'm trying to do is identify sim technologies that are not complicated to use, simple tech tools that, you know, teachers can 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 can, can make use of. That's perfect. And this is very great. What's your guilty tech pleasure? So, again, maybe that's back to the ethical side, but maybe a slight cheat code, as it were. So, I mean, you know, I just I had an observation today. I was behind on my records of work. Um, before they looked in my digital folder, I could dump in, you know, the topics and say, right, give it, you know, catching up. What's your, what's your guilty tech pleasure? A quick cheat code, maybe. Well, a couple of quick cheat codes that I use, but they're not particularly exciting. Is certainly yeah. one of them is that, um, I mean, it's not that, but it, it, it is something that I've realised I could do that is a bit sneaky. I get ChatGPT to write all my descriptions in my YouTube videos these days, and that saves me hours. OK, so instead of and what I do, there's certain things I can tell ChatGPT to do so that I'm because I'm guessing YouTube might be able to work out when I've used a description that's from you from ChatGPT. But, uh, you know, I can tell it to don't do this, don't do that. So don't make it too much of a giveaway. So often using ChatGPT for those sorts of shortcuts, um, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, I'm not sure that's a guilty pleasure, but it's certainly something I'm doing. That's, I guess, a little bit cheeky because you really should be writing out your description of, of the video and what you've done. But ChatGPT does such a good job of it. Absolutely. Um, OK. Do you have um, an inspiring classroom story uh, anecdote where you saw tech made a difference? Uh, one student um, or one sort of interaction where and the wealth of places that you've worked, you've gone, wow, this is actually clicking for the student. Or I have, actually, and I think yeah. I've got, I mean, I've got a few, but I, I, I'll tell you one, and it went, went in the early days, so really interesting for me, and in fact, somewhere here, I've got the results from that particular class. I've kept them because they were phenomenal, yeah? I had a group of students, they were learning Spanish, so when I came back to England after living in Spain for 11 years, I, why I did my master's degree, I taught English, and one of the things I did, it was the beginning of technology. They, there were ways of getting people to record themselves speaking. And I got my students to record themselves speaking at home. And then I would listen to their recordings and give them feedback on them. And this is the early days. And so uh, there was a lot of skepticism in the class. I prepared the activities in the classroom. So I got the students prepared. So they weren't going home, like not knowing what they were going to say. They would have already sort of shaped their ideas. The first time I did it, in a class of 14 or 15 people, one student did a recording. But I persevered. And I, you know, I, I played that recording to the rest of the class. I asked that student, oh, what did you think of that? Was that a good activity? Did it help you? Did you, did, do you think that helps you to develop your speaking skills? And I persevered with the idea. I persevered with it. I said, right, I'm going to do another one next week. And I slowly, more and more teachers, more and more students got on board. They were O-level. Uh, students in an adult education course okay in the evening time well i think and i can't i can't remember i kept the results to this day that was 2003 i think of the 13 students that didn't funny enough one student that failed was actually the one student that did the recording the first time around he was a very enthusiastic but not a very good language learner but i think 11 students got a star in that class all right and i did get literally everyone on board in the end on a regular basis doing recordings of themselves speaking in spanish giving them very specific things to do and they all said it had a real impact on their fluency and on their confidence to speak spanish which obviously was a massive thing in uh, for the o level because you have to in the, in the o level the gcse you have to you have to have an interview in spanish yeah um and was that sort of 2003 was that just sort of recording on an mp3 yeah so it's doing like telephone work, sort of that's the kind of thing yeah exactly yeah. so uh, there were even then like really simple things that you could use on the internet as well to actually do recording so they did they did already exist yeah that's great that's great